After traveling 10 months and 679 million kilometers, NASA's Phoenix probe landed on Mars's northern Arctic plain last May. It was intended to be a three-month mission. The probe has recently photographed clouds, hard to see with the naked eye, and unexpectedly detected snow. NASA's Doug McQuistian directs the Mars Exploration Program. As we move into uh, the Martian winter, we've decided to extend the mission further. Beginning October 1st, we've extended the mission to try to survive as long as it can. There is an end to this mission uh, because of weather, but we want to see how far we can get the mission into winter and understand the climactic processes that occur. Phoenix is on Mars's northern plain, digging into the soil and sending scientists on Earth a wealth of data and images about the red planet's surface, subsurface, and atmosphere. Phoenix has done a great job in helping us expand our understanding of water and climactic processes and, and the water drivers in, those, uh, in the climate. The significant amount of science data collected by the Phoenix mission will last the science research community for a significant number of years to come. Phoenix has sent microscopic images of minerals on the Martian surface and panoramic views of the landing area. The lander's principal investigator is Within Peter Smith. Mission, right away, in the, the first uh, couple of months of being on the surface, we were able to determine that the robotic arm could uh, scrape through the surface soils only a few inches deep and reveal an ice layer. That accomplished, it began analyzing soil composition and atmospheric samples in addition to sending fascinating images of the red planet. Again, principal investigator Peter Smith. Nearby our landing site is a large crater, and we are actually on the... Uh, material that was uh, blown out of the crater when it was impacted some millions of years ago. If you were to sweep away this thin soil layer on this uh, what looks like a flat plain, you would find that it's really a, a more like a skating rink. It's a, a very ice-rich environment. An instrument that sends pulsing beams into the Martian sky has detected snow falling toward the planet, a surprise to investigators. Now the sun is setting on Phoenix, and the science team predicts the lander will likely cease all activity by the end of the year. Paul Sisko, VOA News.